What is going on everybody? My name is Dave the Pie and we're here with a Minecraft mod spotlight talking about Plato's Transportation. This mod adds a number of blocks related to making vehicles in Minecraft. It's sort of a spiritual successor to Archimedes ships if you've ever heard about it. Now this mod uh, requires fabric or forge mod loaders. I'll include both of those in the description as links that you can go to. Uh, the thing to remember about the forge mod loader is that currently for 1.16 it is in beta. So use it at your own risk. Now uh, we have four of the base blocks here and we'll go over more later. But to start off we're going with the wheel, the ship controller assembly, the control key, and the clearing scythe. So let's talk about them. So the wheel is required for land vehicles, and it's crafted surrounding a spruce log with iron nuggets. So let's go ahead and grab all this out of here, and we'll craft ourselves one up. There we go, put that there, craft it around, and boom, we got ourselves a wheel. So when creating a land vehicle, it is required to have a wheel on it for every 10 blocks of vehicle you make. That'll be explained a little bit better as, uh, when I start building one. The ship controller assembly is crafted with four logs, four iron, and a clock. So we're going to go ahead and put that in place like a so. Okay, and here's the iron and a clock. Uh, the ship controller assembly is required for every vehicle that you make in the, in the mod. Uh, and basically it's it's your steering wheel you put it and without it it doesn't become a vehicle next is the control key which is crafted using six iron nuggets and a single gold ingot we're gonna take it put that iron ingot right there I think I said a gold ingot just a second ago it doesn't matter here's our control key so the thing with the control key is without the control key you can't drive much like if you get in a car without a key it doesn't go now the clearing site this one's a little bit special Takes six iron and three hose so this one is used for when you're building your ship of uh, when you're building your ship you're gonna need to clear off some of the grass oh what happened let me just look up the recipe maybe I did it wrong clearing scythe ah stone hose well that is unfortunate so we're gonna real quick go in oh, mode creative and we're going to go grab ourselves three stone hoes. All right, back to survival mode. Let's try that again. Okay, so it's three iron ingots and three stone hoes. Makes it a little bit cheaper and a little bit easier to get. So basically, this tool, this one is easy to explain right away. I can just walk around with it, and it'll clear around all of... Oh, dear, it broke. But as you can see, now that I cleared it around, there is a plenty of open space for us to build our ship in. So I'm going to pick up all these plants so they're not just scattered around. Okay, so we have ourselves a ship controller assembly and a wheel. So we're going to build a simple ship. Now I'm going to place, just, we'll just do something like like this. And then we'll put our wheel here. Now let's maybe uh, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, something like this. Now uh, this, is, this itself is nine blocks. So uh, it's got pretty much the max you can have with one wheel is this nine block square I mean of course if you wanted to put an extra block right there to pretend to be like a sort of seat you can now uh, if you notice I built it flat on the ground you might be thinking wait won't it detect that as part of your vehicle well actually there's a list of blocks that it cannot use to make a ship and I'm gonna read those through right quick okay so it's got dirt grass blocks Podzole, mycelium, stone, clay, sand, gravel, anything immune to the weather, any block that has ore in its translation key, any flowers, all crops, any grass or tall grass, snow and snow blocks, all sandstone, sugarcane and bamboo blocks, or sugarcane and bamboo, not blocks, uh, and infested stone. And by infested stone, that means the stone that when you break it, it lets loose a silverfish. So I'm sure that uh, that's not a fully complete list, although I listed off a lot of things there. Uh, but you can go in the config files. It's a JSON file called boat underscore material uh, boat underscore material underscore blacklist dot JSON, and you can pick and choose, add some additional blocks that you uh, don't want used. So if you say, oh, I don't want you to be able to use, I don't know, black concrete like that uh, building over there, then you uh, won't be able to. So 
we've built ourselves a ship and we got a, uh, a wheel on it, so how do we turn it into something we can drive? We'll just right click on that ship control assembly. Oh, look, it says that we don't have enough wheels, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead, break this one wood right here, so now that the entire vehicle is 10 blocks, let's click again. Oop, let's try one more time. We'll just break one more block. In fact, we'll just break two blocks for symmetry shake. Symmetry's shake. Symmetry's sake. That's what I meant to say. There we go. Does it work now? Yep. Now it's a vehicle, but as you see, we're just stood still. We're not moving at all. So that's what the control key is for. If you get out your control key in your hand, you will drive around in the direction you are pointing. And that's sort of how these vehicles work. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, stop driving this around because we got more to show you. We're going to go, hey, take a look in my garage for the next block to talk about. Ooh, let's open that door properly. Okay, so in my garage, I have my motorcycle. This is a beautiful vehicle. I've driven it for quite some time, but it's getting old, and I think I want to replace that seat with a red one. So to do that, we need the disassembly wrench made with five cobblestone and two iron ingots. So we'll go ahead and craft ourselves one up here right now. All right, there we go, there we go. And we got ourselves a disassembly wrench. So what you're going to do to use this, you get on your vehicle, and then you just right click it. Oh, not enough space. Okay, you see that? So we're gonna move around a little bit till we feel like we might have more space. In fact, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and open our garage door and we're gonna do some work on it right out here in the grass. Now normally I do my work in the garage, but we're just gonna, you know, make sure. Okay, and now it becomes a vehicle in the orientation you built it in. So now I can take that black carpet that was my seat and replace it with the red one. Oop, hold on, let me just grab my red carpet out there and then I'll get back on it and there we go. Now if you notice, the carpet did just suddenly pop it up, up and appear. That is a bug. Certain blocks like carpets and doors will uh, sort of just pop off and it, it is a bit of a duplication glitch so you know, don't, don't use that too much but okay. So we're gonna go ahead and drive the motorcycle, grab our helmet and uh, let's go down this strip of road here to the next area. Now, if you notice, the vehicles don't move incredibly fast, but they are fun to drive. You know, it's just, you know, point the way you're going and you got yourself a motorcycle. All right, so over here, we're going to talk about water vehicles. If you see there, I've got a ship built already and a couple of the things that we're going to talk about with it. All right, going to go ahead and park and get off the vehicle. All right, so the first thing to know is the water float. That's made by taking a stick and surrounding with any color with wool. That's why I got all that here. So, of course, we're just going to, oh, oh, dear. I didn't know it would do that. I guess it requires a tool. Well, I don't think we can craft it with the different colors, but that's the basis of how it works. And the next thing is the ship lift jack, which you can use any type of wood and then four iron in this formation right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the one that we got in this. Now, I've got a ship over here that uh, I built earlier, but if you notice, uh, it's quite big. So it does require a fair few floats. We'll look at those in just a moment, and we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a little thing to stand on. And I'm, I'm going to break this just so we don't have a little doofflinky hanging off of our ship, but I do want to be able to get on. So break that, break that, and... Drop down and grab this one, just so it doesn't go to waste. All right, let's hop back on the block and get on the ship. Now, I said earlier, this is quite a large boat. It does require a fair few floats, the water floats. So if you look over here, I have filled this end of the boat with water floats, and it sort of makes up because we do have a lot of stuff in these barrels over here that we want to sort of balance the weight out. If you remember earlier, I mentioned that the wheels, they take 10 blocks for every one wheel. Well, for every every uh, water float is 20 blocks. So that gives you an idea of how big this ship is with how many we had to use. And yes, I do know there is glass in my staff, in my staff, mast. That does ruin the structural integrity, but it lets us see. So we'll just hope we don't encounter any incredibly strong winds. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click and turn this boat into a boat that we can drive. But if you notice... Uh, most of my boat is underwater, and that's not very good. Well, that's what that ship lift jack that I mentioned earlier for is for. So we're going to go ahead and get right here on this block. The ship lift jack 
If you right click with it, it'll see right where it says new height. This basically determines the height below the original starting point that your ship will use as its base block. Hold on. There we go. Sometimes that error does occur where you're in your ship and you're look or you're out of your ship, but your uh, where you look determines where the ship looks, and you're gonna have to just hit left shift again. You see that uh, ladder floating there? That was that thing I was talking about earlier with the uh, carpets. So we're gonna go ahead and right click a couple times to turn this up. Let's say uh, eight or so. Now, if you notice, right clicking makes the number go up, and if we left click, it will go down. So we're gonna go to about eight or so. And then we're going to go and find the sort of hitbox area of our boat. And we're going to right click it somewhere. It should be around here. Yes. So now we look and uh, it appears that we are properly on a boat of an adequate height. So I'll just get out real quick so you can see that. It is a ship floating properly in the sky. Now, uh, one thing to mention is that there's a single hitbox of what your ship shows and so I'm gonna real quick show hit boxes so you can see it it is for this ship it's down here yes so there's a single one block hit box for your vehicles that you have to click to get on and off of them and that can be a bit of a pain so you got to remember the F3B to show and hide hit boxes all right, so we're going to take this ship around. If you just take the control key, it will drive. And if you notice right there, I've got a book in my hotbar. That is the thing that the mod uses. When you use one of their items for the first time, it gives you this book called Plato's Transporters. And uh, once we get out of the ship, we'll read it. But it basically gives you some of the starting information that I'm giving you in this. Okay, so we're sort of going to dock around the edge of the, the other edge of the island. If you see, I've anchored my airship right in front of my space elevator. So we're going to go ahead and park over there as I talk through the last section of this mod. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and pull around and dock our ship. There we go. And we just got a left click, or sorry, left shift to get out of the ship. And then we're going to go ahead and climb up this island here and talk about the last elements. All right, so we have here the last block of the mod. It is the airship balloon crafted by surrounding a glowstone with any flavor of wool. And so that makes one of these, and that will be used in our airship up there. So let's go ahead and step in the space elevator to take a look at our airship. Now, if you notice, there are quite a few balloons on this airship. That's right, there's a lot of them. Well, if you remember, I mentioned that the wheel is for 10 blocks and the water float is for 20 blocks. Of, sh of ship creation. So the airship balloon is for two. Every two blocks is one balloon. So for a ship of this size, it does take quite a few balloons to make it fly. I'm sure I have a little more than necessary, but you know, better safe than sorry. So of course, like with the others, we're gonna right click on the controller to become a ship. Now if you notice, we're fall- Ooh, I died. Well, you fall out of the sky when you're in your ship because you're not controlling it and it's it's good to see that uh, hopefully yes so your ship is right there uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get back into that and I'll show you the thing I was about to mention so with the airship or sorry with the land vehicles and your boats all you have to do is hold your control key and you're going in that direction but if you notice I'm holding it and I'm still that's because with the airships you have to right click and hold for it to go anywhere. So now that I'm right clicking and holding, we're flying in the sky, going around places, and yes, my anchor is still there. Bit of faulty design on it, but you know, it works. So yes, you right click and hold to fly with the vehicles. And uh, if you notice, a lot of the vehicles do work on the other types of land. I can drive my airship on the water or on the land. If I wanted to, I could have driven my boat on the land that would be a lot slower. So bear that in mind if you want to make some special all-terrain vehicle. You don't necessarily have to have both wheels and floats and balloons. You just need to pick one uh, and, you know, it'll become better at driving that sort of terrain. So we're going to go ahead and park this airship. And that's the basis of the Plato's Transportation mod. I hope you enjoyed this sort of review of it. And uh, all the links pertaining to the mod will be included in the description below. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.